This revision tutorial is on scatter diagrams. During the tutorial we're going to have a look at how to plot a scatter diagram, how to draw a line of best fit and use this line of best fit, and we're also going to have a look at correlation. The first thing we're going to do is look at how to plot a scatter diagram. A scatter diagram shows the relationship between two sets of data, in this case height and weight. I can see that two points have already been plotted on my scatter diagram. The first point, 173.68, is here, and the second point, 153.57, is here. So I'm going to check those off, and it's a good idea to tick them off as you plot them, because in an exam question it can be quite easy to miss a point, and as a result you might be penalised and get fewer marks as a result. OK, so the next point I'm going to plot is 187.92. Now, I can see 187 is here. 92 is going to be one square above 90. I can see 90 is here, so 92 is going to be here. So I plot that with a cross. I should be using a pencil so that if I make a mistake, I can easily correct it. 183, 97 is the next point I'm trying to plot, which will be here. 179, 78 will be here, 166, 76, 176, 81 will be here, 165, 67 will be here, 181, 85 will be here, and finally 158, 59 will be here. Looking at the relationship, it seems to show that as the height goes up, so the weight of the men increases. We're now going to have a look at how to draw a line of best fit for a scattered group diagram. The line of best fit is a straight line that passes through, or is close to, the plotted points on a scatter diagram. When I plot, plot my line of best fit, I'm trying to get the points, uh, the line as close to as many points as possible, so I'm thinking that the line needs to go along in this direction. What I'm also trying to do is get it so that half the points are above the line and half below, and that it cuts through the points as well it cuts through the points so what I'm going to try and do is draw my line of best fit so so let's see how many points I've got above the line I've got one two three four but one two three four five six below so I'm just going to try and adjust the line obviously it would be helpful if you're using a clear ruler because you'll be able to see through that ruler to see where the points are. Okay, so that looks a pretty good line of best fit. Please note that the line of best fit doesn't have to go through this point here. Okay, and what you're trying to do is get to as close to as many points as possible. The relationship between two sets of data is called a correlation. A high positive correlation would be where the line passes very closely to the points. Here we can see a low positive correlation because the points are further away from the line compared to the high positive correlation. A high negative correlation, again the points are very close to the line, but instead of the line increasing going in an upward direction as it moves along the x-axis, this time it's going down okay, and we call this a negative correlation. Our low negative correlation, similarly to, to the um, low positive correlation, we've got a downward trend, so the line is going down as it moves along the x-axis, but compared to the high correlation, the points are further away from the line. A line of best fit can be used to estimate other data values. Here I've got a question that it wants me to use the line of best fit to estimate the price of a six-year-old Vectra. So the way I do that 
is I draw a line up from 6 until I reach my line of best fit. I now want to read across and see what the price is. So I would estimate, using my line of best fit, that the price of a 6 year old vector is £4,000. The second question is to work out the age of a vector that costs £6,200. So this time I'm going to go across at 6,200. Now I know that each square is going to be worth 200 pounds. So I'm going to go across one square up until I hit my line of best fit. And now I'm interested in reading off the age. So I'm going to down, and that seems to indicate the uh, age of a, a vector that costs 6,000. £200 will be four years. It's important to mark on the lines that you use to read off your line of best fit because just in case you make a mistake or you're a little less accurate you may get some credit for the construction lines, the lines you've drawn on to indicate how you've done this. Here's an example of a typical exam question. Typically what you'll be asked to do is to plot a couple of points additionally onto a scatter diagram. Once you've done that you then have to describe the correlation stating whether there is a strong or weak positive or negative correlation or whether there's no correlation at all. If there isn't a correlation then you really shouldn't be drawing a line of best fit. However, in most exam questions there will be a positive or negative correlation in which case you'll then draw on your line of best fit and then what it's asking you to do in part D is to use your line of best fit to estimate as we did in the previous activity you'll construct some lines on to read values off your lines of best fit okay so during this revision tutorial we've had a look at how to draw a scatter diagram how to draw a line of best fit, how to use that to read off values and we've had a look at positive and negative correlation and we've also had a look at strong and weak correlations.